Appropriation is the borrowing of an element of cultural expression of one group or person by another. It is the attempt at reframing an image and often adopts atypical viewing strategies. The goal is that by reframing an image, its meaning can be renegotiated into different, more relevant, or more current ways. Appropriation has become a popular form of art within the past century for artists who are looking for different ways to view personal interpretation. When you appropriate an image, you're more likely to view the art for its meaning, as opposed to for its creator. Appropriation involves using recognizable works of art, well-known literature, or in today's day and age, easily accessible images from the media, and can include remakes of songs and recreating works of art. We will be looking at appropriation in artwork. One of the best-known appropriation artists was Marcel Duchamp, who became well-known for his ready-mades, in which he took items he found and made the audience view the object as art. His most famous ready-made, the fountain, was a standard urinal laying on its back and was signed Arma 1917. Almost a century later, it is still one of the most recognized ways to reframe art in questioning what can be considered art. Another one of his well-known appropriated images entitled El H O O Q donned Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa with a mustache. Andy Warhol is another well-known appropriation artist. His most famous works entitled Campbell's Soup Cans and Campbell's Soup Can 2. These involved multiple paintings of Campbell's soup cans with different flavors. Warhol's goal was to bring forth the question of the artist's role in modern-day culture with advertising and commercialism. Other famous artists such as Pablo Picasso and George Braque have become known for their different appropriations. One of Leonardo da Vinci's other famous paintings, The Last Supper, and Johann Vermeer's Girl with the Pearl Earring have also been appropriated by other artists or people who have access to Photoshop. Appropriation is also a controversial form of art because it involves taking from other artists and, as the years pass, it becomes more difficult to appropriate without getting in trouble. In 2011, artist Richard Prince was sued by Patrick Carew for copyright infringement after appropriating one of his images from the Rostarian collection and was forced to destroy his appropriated works. This lawsuit made it difficult for other artists such as Penelope Umbrico who based their art solely from images found on the internet. For some artists, artists some, such as Michel Duchamp, Appropriation was a way to fight against the social norms and create new controversy and contemplation towards topics they viewed as important, with a touch of comic flair. For others, appropriation is a way for artists to pay homage to works of art that may influence or admire them. In the past century, this form of art has brought rise to new artists such as Sherry Levine, who became for, known for reach photography, and Bansky, most well known for his graffiti art. It is a controversial mode of art that is on the brink of dying out because of trouble it has caused, but it has left us with a plethora of images that will remain in art history for a while to come.